All right, and welcome back. And here we go. If I were to wish to be a genie, I'd wish for the power, but without the tiny living space, Demon Fit says. Probably end up with a genie lamp the size of a house. One good thing about throwing my back out is I have an excuse to be lazy. Well, that's a, that's a glass half full. <laughs> So, Animal Well, we reached credits, we've done a lot of the post-game stuff, my friends, but there's a lot more secrets to find, and uh, that's what we're working on right now. Uh, we are in, in a mode of exploring the map, and just trying to find, uh, just trying to find all the secrets. There's a lot of them. So, we're going to see what we can do about uh, just... Reaching the few places we haven't really been to yet. We got a new item last night. It's a UV light. Let's us see secret messages hidden in the background. If there are any there. And there's one. So there's a situation in here. Just a heads up. This is something I cannot figure out. But it is. I don't want help with it. So you're going to hear me talk about a lot about how I don't know what this is, and I don't. But I'm hoping I'll be smart enough to figure it out eventually. There is, here, this uh, thing with this dice on the background. And I thought it was just as simple as play the flute, right? One is to the right, and then it just goes around. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. I thought it was just as simple as just play the flute, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's usually what that means, but nothing happened. Or nothing happened here. Oh. But then when I put on the UV light... There are these three lines, you see. There's a line on the four, there's a line on the two, and there's a line on the one. And I don't know what those three lines mean. I can't figure that out. So I'm working on that, and uh, we're also just going to look around and see if we can find other stuff. But I'm not smart enough to figure out what those lines mean yet. Yeah, this is my shelf of collectible eggs. We've got... Uh, that's what we're really doing right now, is just collecting eggs. We've got 51, but as you can see, there's at least one, two, maybe three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, maybe 13 left. Total of 64, maybe. It's maybe 60. It's hard to tell. Um,
don't know. It's got me scratching my head, that's for sure. Let me see. Can I? Oh, I can't stand up there. All right. Well, there's a few areas of the map that are very clearly still open. There's something over there to the left. There's... Well, there might be something up there. I wish I could zoom in like one more step. There's something down here in this uh, middle part here. It's empty too. So there's definitely places I haven't been. There's treasure chests I've spotted that I haven't been able to collect. There's stuff to do. And when there's stuff to do, there's hope that I can figure things out. Imagine getting a call from Frowny. Good morning, ma'am. Would you like to join the scam shop? I mean, real shop. <sighs> uh. <laughs> Pretty much. I have a flute. It's a walking stick and a bamboo flute all in one. It's called a stiff. Stafluti? That sounds like, uh, it sounds like it could be a lot of fun. Jelly plays the flute. That's, uh, that's her instrument. I, I play the guitar, she plays the flute. We have on a few occasions performed together. I'm all about the piano, keyboard too. Um, I would pay to have Franny call me and say, we've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> I mean, if you want to give me your phone number, Game and Fit, that could be arranged. <laughs> I'll buy, I buy that for a dollar.
Also, don't give out your phone number to strangers on the internet. I've slept since the last time we played this, so I, uh, I don't remember what's in a lot of places. If I had the ability to get through the ice walls, there are ice walls in this game, and if I had the ability to get through those, it would really make a difference. Turns out that kangaroo is still there.
I like the mess up and it puts you right back where you left off feature. It puts you at your last save point is where it puts you. I don't know if that's uh, quite the same as right where you left off. Sometimes it's considerably far away. Sometimes it's painfully far away. What? There's nothing down here? Bogus. Oh no, when you f you don't die when you fall in water. When you fall in water, yeah, you it puts you back where you on the last platform you stood on. But when you die, you go back to your last save. Water doesn't kill you. Water really has no effect. It just puts you back on the ledge. I'm surprised water doesn't even take away a heart. Like, it's. It really has just no effect. It's quite. Uh, it's quite lenient.
I feel, I'm starting to feel really dumb because the game has given me lots of, like, hints for, like, stuff to do, and I just can't figure any of them out. I'm starting to feel exceedingly stupid. I've just got so much stuff that I have no idea what it means at all. This game just knocks me right out. The gloomy visuals and the synth sounds. It can be quite, uh, I can see it being quite relaxing. It's very, it's pretty laid back for the most part. <laughs> but it's not completely so. Like, sometimes you're just minding your own business and a monster runs in and destroys you, so... The game can be quite terrifying when you're in the driver's seat. I thought that was brilliant. I thought that was brilliant. I thought there was going to be something up there. Uh, instead I was dumb. Time for Dreamland. Have fun. Good night, Game and Fit. Hope your uh, hope your back gets feeling better real soon. Have a fantastic weekend, and hopefully we'll see you on Sunday or early next week. go kind of uh, experience. Everyone loves aimless wandering.
The ice is helping. I'll be good in a couple of days tops. Have a good weekend too. Thank you very much. Um, what is this room like? there's anything in there in the wall. Thought there might be, but it seems like there's probably not. I just really don't like being too dumb to figure something out, you know? And it's uh, something I have to live through all the time. these numbers down 90 330 i can't change like these doors have numbers above them i can't change these numbers there's nothing 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 does anything Ugh.
the ostrich here is going. getting in my way. Rude. So there has to be a way into there. If this here is a way out, there's got to be a way in. We got another egg. Where am I? Seven bottles, rabbit stirring, two empty bottles. What does this mean? I have no idea what this means.
cute little rabbit. I mean, that's all it, that's really all it could possibly mean to me. It's like, oh, well, that's some cute artwork. Any deeper meaning is kind of beyond me. Am I safe here? I'll try and be on the lookout for a rabbit that is also a uh, potion brewing witch. He got me. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm so lost. Fireworks. What am I supposed to do? Just get my time wasted. That's what I'm supposed to do. 
get some back over here. There's nothing I can do. I'd... So annoying. So annoying. That kangaroo doesn't serve any purpose. It's there just to kill me just so my time gets wasted. So I have to walk all the way back over there. It's not good. It's not good. This isn't supposed to be the rage game. See, now it's gone, because there was never any reason for it to be there in the first place. Right? Oh, I gotta write this down. Okay, that's cool. I know what to do with that. Shockingly, shockingly, I actually know what to do with that information. It doesn't do me much good, but it's better than nothing, which is more than I can say for a lot. goodness I did that to myself but it doesn't mean I'm not I'm not super annoyed No, I didn't want to go down here. I really didn't want to not... I'm going to get that save phone. If I could break through these ice walls, I would really have it made. The other thing that's really ruining my playthrough right now is I can't get through any of these ice walls.
Hey, we freed another cat. Means there are three left. I don't know whether we're gonna, we're gonna be able to free them all or not. I would like to be able to, but. Perfect job, Frowny. Awesome if you free all three. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. So close. We're getting so close. Certainly perting in effort. Oh my goodness. That's that's too much even for me. Overload. I'm having an overload. I hate these dangling plants. And it was all for nothing. Oh wait, there's a code here. Left, left down, left right, down right, up. Mm-hmm. 
So those codes can really just be kind of anywhere. What? I don't know, even know what you're asking. There's Ergling. I can't figure it out. All right, we got another one. Was three cat puns too much? Oh. Yeah, I'm having an overload. They broke me. They broke my brain. Uh. It is just plain obnoxious how far away that thing takes me. That is just criminal. Criminal. It's the only way out of there. Uh... What is this? Fine, just fine. 
crumple me up and toss me in the garbage. I don't know why it's like this. I do know that I hate it. They, ugh. This whole part of the tower is just, it's a, just the worst part of the map. The worst part of the map. Ugh. You can hold the button to go faster. Didn't know that. I I hate that if that's the only way to get out of that area is to go all the way back up here. It's so far away. It's so far away. All I need to do is get to the top part of the tower that I was just in. I don't need to be a hundred thousand miles across the universe into the other part of the world. Come on, game. Where does this lead? I don't even remember. I'm sure this takes me nowhere good, but I'm already nowhere good, so... No 
one has ever been as far away from anywhere as we are from where I want to be now. <laughs> This is uh this is an all-time record. Uh, oh. Probably shouldn't complain so much because that warp did take me directly to the beginning of this area. <laughs> uh So my problem now is I actually need these to be moving in the opposite direction from what they're moving. But I can fix that. This is very interesting. This is very interesting. Can I make it through here without dying? Kind of. I wondered what we were saving the cats for. I mean, I was going to do it just to do it, but this is even better, right? Wait a minute, have I been here before? I've been here before. We already did something over here. This connects to here? These areas are connected? No way. Well... This whole place might have made a little bit more sense to me if I discovered that long ago. <laughs>
Oh. Hang on, here's another code. Oh, is there one on that other side too? Surely not, right? I can't remember the last time I had my intelligence push to the limit like this. Okay, I want those things to be moving up. Question mark. I remember this being a chore before, so... It's okay. Oh no! I looked away for way too long.
Just wanted to check there were no bricks over there that could add the code on it. Oh, what is this? So close. I know it's possible. We've done it before. This is how you're supposed to do it. No, I got scared. see any codes in here though. That's not good. Let's go down anyway and release the one we can. Must feel great being the last one still trapped, right? Please be in here. Please let the last code be in here. And not in that room over there on the right where it might be. Oh no. Well, I don't think it's up here where I thought it was maybe going to be. That's a shame.
it's not that uh, it's not that bad. And it's not in here? Why is it not in here? Squish. Well, It's a long way to climb up if I'm wrong. And you know me, I'm probably wrong. I do like how they were finally making progress. Thank goodness. It was super frustrating to be so stuck for so long. code on this side. I didn't really think there would be. I thought there would not be, but I also thought it doesn't hurt that badly to check.
That's bad. That's bad, because it not being in there really hurts. That was kind of my last idea. I'm not at all sure where to look now. Uh... Just keep looking everywhere. Hey, ghost, welcome in. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, this is Animal Well. This is a Metroid style game. It's uh, it's a lot like Hollow Knight, with uh, m with no combat and more puzzles. It's very good, but it's also very perplexing sometimes. You gotta you gotta wear your thinking cap when you wear this game. Or at least I do. If you're a lot more clever than me, you you might have an easier time. <laughs> you gotta keep uh, keep in mind I'm uh, I'm a little dumb. But so far, I'm making progress. It's just slow. Just a little slow at working everything out. Oh my goodness. These cats are eventually going to feed me a code that's like a thousand digits long. Look at how long that code is. Oh my goodness. This might take a while. Uh, please work. It's working, question on, question mark. Probably not. Yeah, this is a very interesting game. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, the pixel art is beautiful. The, the puzzles are out of this world. I really like this game. It frustrates me a little bit, but I mean... That's a, that's just a sign I'm being challenged, right? Oh, 
by frustrates me a little bit. I mean, it frustrates me a whole lot. <laughs> but I'm having a good time. I'm having a, it, it won't see. It won't seem like it a lot of the time, but I really am having a good time trying to trying to figure this one out. Uh oh. Turns out, turns out, that wasn't right. Hey, Dollar Phil, welcome in. Thank you for the raid. Happy Lemur Day. I hope the rest of your stream went great, my friend. I appreciate you joining us. I'm uh I'm a little distracted. I'm I'm scratching my head. We got some tough puzzles to figure out. Very challenging game, but we're we're slowly making progress. Well, the regular, the, the bot won't work, so we'll do the other shout out, my friends. Dollar Phil was celebrating Lemur Day today. You can uh, use that uh, thing in the chat right there to give our friend a follow. A wonderful retro stream, a fan of, sh of shmups and uh, very challenging games. Works on a marathon style and it's got a very, uh, very laid back, sort of a comfortable atmosphere over there. Welcome in uh, Dbot. Thank you for joining us as well. And Duck Something, welcome in. Similar graphics to Jump King. It's a it's a really beautiful game. Um, Ghost says uh, the art style is cool. It's really it's it's a really beautiful game, and it's uh it's got it's really like it's a very surprising game, and sometimes very sometimes a very scary game. <laughs> if you're uh, if you're prone to uh, wear your emotions on your sleeve, you might be jump scared a little bit. <laughs> I certainly have been. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm looking through this uh, this section of the game, this uh, this kind of clockwork tower here. There are several imprisoned cats in the tower. Well, there were five, and I've released four of them. And I'm trying to find, I'm trying to release the last one. And we release them by finding codes that are written into the background with arrows that tell me. The arrows are a secret code that tell you how to play music on your flute, which is the the songs are the passwords that release the cats. So I'm just I'm looking around the background trying to find these secret codes is uh, what I'm up to right now. Just looking for arrows in the background.
we're very, very late into this game. So, like, we're deep into the post game. So, we're. We're heavily into the, like, wander around, scratch your head, be confused kind of territory. And I've got to really hope that, uh, I've got to really hope that none of the code is written behind any of these ice blocks because I can't, I can't do anything about these ice blocks yet. I don't have any way of, like, melting them. I'm, I'm pretty certain we will eventually unlock something that lets us do that. But that has not happened yet. And, uh, I mean, it's like, it could be possible that I'm trying to do something out of order. And, like, I, I'm not really supposed to do this until I can melt the ice blocks. I don't, I don't have any way of figuring that out, though. <laughs> so, there's a, there's a chance I could be working on an impossible task. But I don't think so, because I've already found four of the five codes. This is not Jump King. This is this is not. Uh, I'm squished. That's all right. Things weren't working out the way I wanted them to there anyway. Jump King went okay tonight. I tied my PB once in Jump King tonight. Which is not great, but... It's more than nothing, kind of. I already found that. Sadly, this is uh, none too exciting here.
It's a lot of downtime right now. I know the, the game probably not doesn't really make the best first impression at the moment if this is all you've seen of it. <laughs> it's a uh, we're in a slow we're in a slow kind of a uh, kind of place. Hey Greg, welcome in. Angelus, welcome in. Thank you for the raid. Welcome to Animal Well. As I was just saying, we're in sort of a slow kind of place at the moment with this game. I'm uh, looking for a hidden secret and it's really tough to find. There's the cat we need to free. That's the last one. Tell us about your uh, stream, Angelus. What were you working on tonight, and how did it treat you? I'm having the hardest time with the uh, shoutouts. The bot doesn't work. The uh, I can't type. There's all kinds of problems. Been lurking a while, not wanting too many spoilers. I do plan on buying this game next week. It's uh, it's definitely worth uh, worth playing. It's uh, it's been a really good time, a really confusing time sometimes, but. I have basically nothing but good things to say about it. Just uh, like I said a little moment ago, put on your thinking cap when you play this one. <laughs>
I've not been very clever about that room. I've got an idea. Don't get your hopes up. My ideas are usually terrible, but... Well... Thing is, even if I get down there, there's nowhere to go. Oh, I, I have the wrong thing. See, I can come all the way down here. Still no point. Crushed. Cross your fingers, everybody. We found it. We found it. Let's go. Life is finally good. Wow, that was, this is, what a cryptic game. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's go. Maybe start a new horror game next Saturday since Cry Fear is reaching areas of ridiculousness in terms of difficulty. Keep in mind I'm playing on easy. Well, I would hope you wouldn't have to abandon it, but sometimes games leave us no choice, right? It's all excited about finding an M16. Oh, hang on. Cry if you're... Oh, sorry, I missed your messages before, Angelus. I was distracted by doing bad with the shout-out. Cry of Fear uh, went great until it didn't. I was excited about finding an M16, but then I encountered giant bullet sponge enemies, so it didn't help much. It's not... It doesn't... When the, It doesn't help much if the game powers you up and the enemies at the same time, right? My reckless betting in the sumo channel pays off again. Last match of the night, I bet literally all the points I had built up on an underdog took 10k points 
into turned 10k points into 33k points, Zergling says. Right on. I am I am not a gambler myself, but I'm uh, glad that paid off for you. Oh, we don't have to play the music. The cats are doing it for us. Alright. What do we get? What do we get? Oh, please be something great. We worked so hard for... We worked so hard for whatever this is. Wheel! Let's go! Does the wheel break spikes? Oh, I can... Oh! Oh! The wheel is great! The wheel is great! Let's go! Oh, this is fantastic! This is the best thing that's ever happened to me! Scarlet Egg! All right, let's go. This is this is great. I've been waiting for this for forever. There's a treasure chest we can access now. There is a and there's a whole new area of the map we can get into. That that was that was a big deal. That was a that wheel is a very big deal. Let's go. That changes so much. I know I am a gambler and have a real problem with it. That's why I do not allow myself to gamble with real money ever, Zergling says. I can respect that. You know, I won't say, I, I can't say I've never gambled anything. I have, uh, you know, I've, I've, uh, but, like, it's real, like, it, inconsequential. <laughs> like, I've played, like, I've, I've had nights where we've played Texas Hold'em with, uh, with pennies, like, <laughs> You know, everyone, uh, everyone comes to the table with a dollar. <laughs> and then that's, uh, and that's, that's all the money you have to play with for the night. Like, real, real small amounts of money. But I'm just, I'm not, I, I'm just not, I don't like to gamble all that much. I don't have anything against it, I just don't. I mean, if you're doing it, you know, within your means and responsibly, but. I can't take the, I can't take the risks. Franny becomes the ostrich. button 
I know all too well the highs of making big bets and winning, and I know I would absolutely bet too much in real life, Sergling says. Yeah, I don't feel like it's uh, I don't feel like it's anything to mess around with lightly. It's good to uh, it's good to know yourself and know your limits. All right, so we can erase this stamp. I can actually, there's another stamp I can erase too, but I don't remember where I left it. It's over here somewhere. Maybe I already removed it. Oh no, there it is. This, we've already taken care of this too, so I can remove that. Maybe I can't remove that. Hang on. X. There we go. Okay, we don't need that. I don't think I need this question mark either. I think I figured this out. Okay, the wheel is only really super useful in one other place that I know of. I wish I could remember how to get back into here. So we want to take the wheel here. Find the unsoft locked yourself. I was never soft locked to begin with. I thought I might be. I thought I could be. That's what I get for not having faith. I should have. Uh, I should have trusted the game developer. Should have trusted the developers. Now, who looks like a fool? Me. Oh, thank you, cats. I love, uh, I love cats. Wonderful animals.
Interesting. Okay, I know how to do this. He says, and then does it wrong. Oh, yeah, this is easier than I thought. I was uh, I was really perplexed about how I was going to get... I was like, am I going to have to climb on bubbles and then jump and switch to the wheel in midair? Because I thought I had to go up through this channel, but I don't. I just go up over here on the side. It's so much easier. No, I you hit the wrong thing. <laughs> with how many with how many games we've played Frowdy, we know good and well to never trust the game developers. <laughs> you make a very good point. Oh, you know what? This is easier than it looks too. Because why am I using the bubbles? I could just use this. Never mind. Let's use the bubbles. I didn't notice those hanging vines. I could still get around them and use the frisbee, but I already made my I already made a fool of myself. Brick egg. Okay. So that closes off this area. So, what to do now, I wonder. I know when playing a first-person shooter, if the developer is awfully generous with health and ammo, they're about to launch a horde of enemies. <laughs> The original Doom was notorious for that trope. I'm back to back to scratching my head. Speaking of eggs, I decided to investigate the dairy slash egg section deeper in a Korean grocery store. Turns out they had duck eggs for sale. Naturally, I had to get some. Way too much, though. Eight. Eight dollars for six. I don't know what a good price for duck eggs looks like, I gotta say.
let's look at this again. Let me think about this. One, two, three, four, five, six, but... Some of these have dashes on them. I just wish I knew what the dashes meant. That's uh, just something I don't seem to be able to figure out. It's probably super obvious and I'm just super dumb. The note does eventually die. A dollar per egg is pretty common from what I've seen, but considering I can get 18 pasture-raised chicken eggs for $10, it's pretty steep.
Oh. Excuse me. I don't know, if this is all the information that we get for this puzzle, is this plus this, I may be pretty doomed. I think uh, I am probably not clever enough to figure this one out on my own. I don't like to feel like that. I don't like to feel like that. But I do. I figured out the cat thing though. If I can figure that out that maybe I maybe I can figure out anything. I don't know what else to do though. I'm uh Kind of stuck. <laughs> you should be answering the greater questions in the universe if you figured out cats, Franny. some mystery for everybody else. Can't hog all the fun. It would appear the wheel is not the secret for breaking through these guys.
don't know anywhere else that there's a um, I don't know of anywhere else where I might be able to use the wheel. I don't think there was a place to use it behind the snake. This game looks wild. This game's pretty incredible. 
I've been having a great time with it. I'm a little stuck right now. So, uh... Tonight... Tonight doesn't even really show off the game at its best. Because there's a lot of me just... Scratching my head and being frustrated. So if it looks good... If it looks good tonight... You can believe it's really good. Just finished a heart transplant on this electric. Tapped the pickups with metal to test and went well. About to string the car up for the first time in maybe two years. Oh, nice. Final boss mode. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. There's no uh, strange, unexpected noises or silences. <laughs> Sorry, I just, uh, just don't know. I don't know what I'm looking for. I don't know what the game wants from me at the moment. There's a chest right there. Well, look at that. I found another secret. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think there are eight eggs left.
Well, this is one way to, this is certainly one way to play the game, right? I'm surprised there isn't something else going on on this uh, screen. What well, with the uh monster still spawning on it. Been soldering all night, way beyond my skill level. New faceplate doesn't line up with the uh, one old screw hole, so I drilled the new one. I need a paint pen to fill in the paint chips everywhere. Well, I did something. Control panel. Hmm. 
No, I don't know what I'm doing, by the way. Almost sounds like music. doesn't reset itself. It's a mess paint. Uh, basically, yeah. We've already spent a lot of time here tonight, and a lot of it looking around for secrets. I really doubt there's any left here in this part of the map. in these caves they're a strong candidate I think if you go up here in the green caves I'm kind of running out of steam though my friends I think maybe I think maybe we'll consider wrapping things up for the night Gotta get back to a convenient save spot. <laughs> 
over here is, I think, probably the best place. That wheel was a fairly exciting find on the one hand, but on the other hand, it didn't actually get me, uh, didn't actually get me pointed in the direction of whatever in the world it is I'm supposed to do next. But, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for tonight, my friends. Thank you very much for being here with me. It's been great to share your company. Hope you've enjoyed our time together. We will, uh, head out on a raid. I uh, don't usually stream on Saturday, so you shouldn't really look for me tomorrow. I'm going to try and be here Sunday night, and if I miss Sunday, then uh, Monday at the latest. Um, 11 p.m. Central Time is when to look for me. Maybe a little earlier, maybe a little later. But uh, somewhere around that mark. Um, we'll play this again next stream. Um, I'd like to finish it up, so hopefully if we play it Sunday, hopefully if we play it Sunday, we can um, see about uh, see about wrapping this one up. I don't know. That dice puzzle, I don't think I'm going to be able to solve that dice puzzle. I think there's something I don't know. Maybe I just don't know enough about dice. But uh, we'll play this on Sunday and then hopefully be able to put something, um, one of our ongoing projects on Monday and or Tuesday night. It'd be really nice to actually play Battletoads on Tuesday. Oh no, I'm I'm well yeah, NES Battletoads, um, but that game um um I'm I'm ac I've actually beaten uh quite a few times and I'm really familiar with. Um I'm uh, I'm actually working on the Genesis Battletoads now, which is a pretty horrible game. Genesis Battletoads is a really bad version of the game. It's way, way worse than the NES game but I'd like to beat it anyway. Good night, Frowny. Uh, thanks for the shout out. No worries, uh, Angelus. Thank you for the raid. Always, uh, always a pleasure to have you, uh, Join us, Angelus.
but I'd like to, um, I'd like to finish up, uh, I'd like to, to beat the Genesis Battletoads, and I'd also like to finish up that Strawberry Shortcake game that we started a thousand years ago. I'm sorry, I'm taking a long time because I was, uh, I was considering maybe, maybe dropping in on a new streamer, but, uh, nothing, uh, because it's been a while, it's been a while since we've taken a chance, and, um, and uh, dropped in on someone completely completely new but uh, nothing jumped out at me so we will we will go visit someone we already know and I think that that will be We'll join Blackthorn. What's different about the Genesis version? Um, the physics are pretty janky. It's mostly... Um, it's mostly the snakes. The snake pit on stage uh, six... The collision on the snakes is really terrible. You just fall right through them a lot of times. Um, it's no good. It's no good. That's uh, that's really the worst part. Um, everything else, it's just kind of, it's just kind of like it looks. It looks good. It sounds really good, but the physics are bad, and the collision is really bad. But uh, no, no guarantees on that. Uh, just my 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 dream, my dream schedule is that we finish this on on uh, on on Sunday, and we do strawberry shortcake and battle toads next week. But we'll we'll see about that. We're gonna we're definitely gonna play jump king and and uh, animal well. The rest are gonna be kind of up in the air. But uh, off we go, my friends. One last time, thank you for your company. Really enjoyed having you with us tonight. And I hope you're well until I get to see you again. Have a fantastic weekend. We're all done for the night. It's time to head out. Let's go on an adventure.